Hello, I'm Nancy Perenboom. I'm one of the teachers at Wisconsin Virtual Learning um, who uses, uh, whose students and families use the Calvert curriculum in our elementary school. Today, uh, what I would like to do is to share with you some information that you'll want to know as the learning guide or learning coach, the parent usually, who, um, who is using the Calvert curriculum. We'll talk just a few minutes about the Calvert website, your online account, the learning uh, guide, or um, both the, the uh, spiral bound one and, also, and the online one, and also we'll talk about checkpoints. Your job is so essential at the elementary level, as you know. The lessons that the students complete are accessed through the learning guide manuals that you have, the information that you share with them. You can also find this online. Many lessons, although not all of them, end with a checkpoint question. That gives you an opportunity to understand, know what the student understands. You're understanding the student better. Every 20 lessons, there's a review day, and there's also a test that gets submitted to Calvert, and we'll talk about that. Now, please remember, in addition, there are weekly language arts and math classes with the WVL students like myself. Learning guides and coaches have found these things so important to be successful, being organized, being prepared checking with email so that they're up to date on things, making sure that lessons are completed on a regular basis daily. Le please know there are 160 lessons that need to be completed by the end of the school year. There are 180 days. This allows time for review and the test 20s. Please send those in as they're completed. Uh, we are, as uh, Wisconsin Virtual Learning Teachers, available and helpful want to be helpful to you, uh, we're available through email, we're available through phone, and we'll have formally, we'll have regular parent-teacher conferences three times in the year. Wisconsin Virtual Learning uses a number of curriculum, Calvert being one of them. I'd like you to know that there is a learning guide portal or way of entering Calvert that's different for you as the adult, the guide, or coach than it is for the student. You'll notice that the very top of the screen says Learning Guide Portal. That helps you know you're in the right place. You'll find lots of useful links. We'll look at some of those in just a minute, including videos that will help you as you help the students through the school year. There are resources for the students, extra games and fun things to do, or videos to watch. You will have the answer keys also, and also the ATS um, tests are available only through the through the adult portal. I have highlighted two that I'd like you to know and probably look at this week before school begins. Um, choose the ones that would help you the most. Their YouTube channel is full of great videos. This page is what you'll see, but don't forget to scroll down because there's more information there. The answer keys are there as well as the ATS test. The student resources you can access also from your learning guide portal. You'll see this um, place for my Calvert, but also you'll have access to the grade book, which is an attendance tracker for our school. Here is the page that a student usually sees. And part of that you'll see is the lesson manuals, in addition to the extra things I mentioned, like videos and supplemental math activities. The online manuals look just like the um, ones that have come in the mail to you, like the spiral bound ones. There are two main ones that are for the learning guide. One is what we call the core manual, which has all academic subjects other than math, and then a separate one for math. When you open them up, you can see that lessons are set out in sets of 20. That's, um, and I'd mentioned that before as far as the test. You'll see um, the manual itself looks just like the uh, manual that we, you have, the spiral one. It tells you which materials you'll need, including the books, which uh, at the very beginning are, it's very helpful to know in particular because several of the books have names that are very similar. On the other side, you'll see lessons. So here's a place for to check off the things that the student has accomplished. 
in that list of accomplishments, you'll see some after some of them, there are boxes and checkpoints. Those are the questions reviewed that I uh, mentioned just a minute ago. Um, to access them, uh, you will actually click this button uh, because you as the learning guide are the one that will mark them as complete. Let me give you an example of what one looks like. You can see there are just a few um, questions for the student to work on and you can guide them through that. About checkpoints, those are for you and for us. For you, that's your way of knowing whether the child has understood the concepts that were presented that day. If they don't, take the time the next day to make sure that it's clear to them and, understand, and they understand it. It's, uh, of course, most useful to complete the entire lesson prior to doing the checkpoints. For us, the checkpoints also mark the daily attendance. It's a verification of their uh, they're working through the lessons. Now I mentioned ATS several times. That's the Advisory Teaching Service. We call them Test 20s too because they come at the end of every 20 lessons. All students in Wisconsin Virtual Learning Elementary are enrolled in the ATS. I want you to know that it's built into the pacing guide that you received in your yellow folder at orientation. Built in is a day to review and then usually a day or two for the tests. These tests then, when they are complete, are sent into Calvert for review and feedback. Usually they also include a few of the assignments that maybe have um, a st student had worked on during the year, excuse me, during the 20, uh, 20 days. Um, but the manual will let you know that those are coming up and those need to be included with test 20. The, after the um, test has gone to Calvert, it's reviewed there and you will get some feedback from their teachers. In addition, the Wisconsin Virtual Learning teacher receives a copy of the test we record the progress and we forward um, the results to you. There's a lot of information having to do with the um, with this um, pr the procedure, the method of doing this, and there will be a separate video coming out closer to day 20 for doing this. If you want to look at them ahead of time on your learning portal, as you scroll down to the ATS, you'll also see the tests themselves that you can print them out and look at them ahead of time, should you care to do that. But that's a very brief summary of some of the things that you'll want to do before school starts and some knowledge that you need to have. Please know that we will have a live question and answer session this week on Wednesday and Thursday at 10 o'clock and 1 o'clock. Um, you have received information about that already through email, and I'll try to make sure you get it again. So write down your questions as you go through and look at the manual, and um, I'd be glad to help you with that then. Until then, hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Goodbye for now.